Hey, everybody. <laughs> Where am I? Oh, boy. <laughs> I made the mistake the first time I've ever made this mistake on the show. No, it isn't. I do it every week, but this time I over... I smoke too much already. Hey. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to the second Getting Dug With High live at Largo on La Cienega. Yes. Los Angeles. <laughs> I didn't get it out before you started applauding. And it's important to know that there, that there isn't a Largo on La Cienega in other, other places. Not that I'm aware of. Uh, since there are fire laws, we are not allowed to smoke in this theater, but there are no laws against vaporizing in this theater. So we're gonna vaporize on stage, and if you guys, you know, during the commercial breaks, the live audience, I appreciate you being here, during the commercial breaks, uh, or at any break, uh, your own personal break, uh, you can step outside, but. Don't, don't smoke out here on the patio, because it's also not allowed there, but if you go out, like, uh, past the gate, uh, right out front there, like, you can go smoke near the Iron Patriot if you want. <laughs> and uh, the Comedy Patriot is out there. We didn't, we didn't ask him to come here. <laughs> he, he quit Kill Tony the day after I had him and the guys from Kill Tony on Getting Dug With High, because I think he saw, like, a potential move there, like, oh, I'm just gonna be on Getting Dug With High from now on, and it's like, I don't need a superhero. <laughs> I don't need that guy on stage every show, but I, I like him, he's a nice guy, so, and he's outside, and he's like, let me in, I, I wanna come in, surprise everybody. And, uh, and they're like, well, Largo is only a seated venue. There's no standing room. And, yeah, he can only stand in that costume. <laughs> That's why he takes the bus. It's a glorious... <laughs> he has a whole backstory. Watch episodes of Kill Tony, or if you want to know more about comic, Comedy Patriot, whatever he's calling himself. <laughs> We've got five great guests for you guys tonight that are gonna... They're gonna join our... It's not a circle, smoker's circle, it's a smoker's row, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I, you know... Very excited. <laughs> This show has got such a you don't know what's gonna happen feel to it, but I will tell you this, I do not think any of these guests brought their pets. <laughs> or, yeah, people love Samo, and I can't, I can't produce Samo every time. That wasn't even Eric Andre's pet. It's some girly nose dog. Maybe it's his girlfriend, I don't know, I didn't get into it. Please give a big, warm Largo and La Cienega in Los Angeles welcome to Ricky Lindholm, Jacob Siroff, Matt Besser, Jeff Tate, and Greg Proops. Like the it's 50s. the Dallas Smokers Club. <laughs> <laughs> um, These are tall chairs to fall off of when they you're too are. high. Yeah. If I'm Texas, if fun. Texas uh, legalizes uh, weed, they should definitely uh, call a store that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but where do we start? Holy crap! Greg Proops is here, you guys. Hi, everybody. Hi. Angeles. So Return. divine to be here, Doug, on La Cienega once again. Uh, <laughs> I saw the iron, what's he called? The iron uh, uh, He's the kitchen patriot. implement? The He's good the dude patriot. outside? He's a patriot. He's a patriot, yeah. Comic that, patriot, iron patriot, whatever you want to call it. And he said him. he's from Switzerland, and yet he's a patriot. No, I think the outfit was from Switzerland. They mailed it. He spent a lot of money, and they mailed it to him. There's nothing more patriotic than spending a lot of money. And, <laughs> and it, doesn't, it doesn't fit him well enough for him to sit down. 
No, he can't sit, but he can cajole and he can wheedle. <laughs> and that's, I'm sure that's what he's still out there doing. Oh. Can we have a comedy patriot check? Like, uh, could someone run outside and, and make sure that he's there like every five minutes? Because I feel safer in here knowing that he's outside. <laughs> <laughs> That's a person? Uh, okay. Yeah, it's, there's a person in that suit, Jeff. B Matt Besser! <laughs> Matt Besser's here, you guys. And, uh... Hey, Doug, I should make an apology for last time I was on. Why, what, what happened? What went wrong? Um, let's just, everyone who might have seen that show and everybody watching at home that saw that show, uh, I, took, I took a vape hit and I didn't... <laughs> I didn't clear. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't clear the chamber. I didn't clear the chamber, and I let the stale hit. Matt, there are children in Africa that would clear that chamber. <laughs> I was just thinking about myself. I didn't think about whoever was going to follow me. <laughs> and I didn't clear it. And I'll clear it next time. <laughs> Fuck. This is so hard. <laughs> well, I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad you had the chance to come back and, uh, you know, clear that up. <laughs> and, um, you know. Thanks. It was rude, and it's rude. And I'm not the only one. I'm the only one apologizing, but there have been others. And they're bastards. Well, there's only vaporizer bags tonight, so you don't have any chambers to clear, so uh, you, should, you should get out of here okay. What is Some the people... etiquette of the bag? What's that? <laughs> What's bag etiquette? <laughs> Just sip it, sip it. You don't have to, like you don't have to finish it. <laughs> You don't have to finish it, just take a little. But uh, last time, uh, most of the guests tapped out before it was over. It's rude to pop the bag, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> don't pop it, because it ruins my bag, and uh, also I, I don't like that sudden sound. <laughs> it's, it's scary, you know? People are trying and to Doug kill me. Doug Benson and dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky Lindholm is here, you guys. even know what clear the chamber means. So I feel like a real novice pot smoker. And I just tried the bag for the first time backstage, and I, I don't know if I did it right. <laughs> what, what's there to do wrong? It, the smoke went in, and you blew it out? And, uh, do well, you feel... nothing came out, because there was just vapor. So I didn't, when I smoke pot, I know if I got a hit when the smoke comes out. But now that nothing comes out, I'm not going to know. Oh, we'll take a bigger hit next time. Something will come out. OK. <laughs> You're also floating an inch above your chair right now. Oh, OK. OK, then I'm good. Yeah. I drank some wine just in case, so I can get on everyone's level. <laughs> Of course, uh, Ricky's been on Douglas Movies a bunch of times, and she's also uh, won the taller half of Garfunkel and Oates, the Woo! comedy comedy singing duo. Yep. And um, so, Kate McCucci, uh, your partner in that endeavor, Oates. Yeah, she is, doesn't smoke much. She doesn't smoke much, but she does on occasion. She does. So I don't know. You can maybe get but her. But she. But so why doesn't she want to do this? She's just scared. I feel like she's scared. Yeah. She likes being in control. You know, right. of herself. She, she seems drink, like she such drinks, a control freak. <laughs> she drinks like once a year and smokes pot twice a year. Oh, I would okay. say that's her. Well, all right. So uh, yeah. one of those two times could be on this show. I think it should be. <laughs> How biannual so, curious. Yeah. She's so fun, though. She's the most fun when she's higher drunk because she talks about it the whole time. She's oh, okay. like, I'm so drunk. She's horrible. totally, no, it's, no, on her it's like adorable, I don't know why. Yeah, she's cute, she's yeah. super cute. Uh, fun, fun to carry around in a pocket. Mm -hmm. And, um, True. and we'll, uh, we'll, well, I'll keep trying to coerce her. I mean, I don't want to be too pushy about it. I was shocked that you said yes, to be honest. Cause really? Because I've never smoked weed with you. I, I can't smoked weed in front smoked... of you, because I was in that video with Santa Claus smoking weed that you did. You were. And you didn't, we, and I was smoking the whole time, and you never said, pass that over here. Well, you, here's you know. what you'll learn today. The second I smoke weed, I cannot focus. And so I just turned into a total mess. So that's why I didn't smoke it during our video shoot. <laughs> but I will smoke it today and then be completely 
unhelpful. Cannot wait. Yes. <laughs> I will contribute nothing to this show. Oh, okay. So you're gonna you're gonna be the Jonah Ray of this. <laughs> for the last one. The Thank you for coming back. Ray, and I, uh, I hope we can live up to uh, that last one because there's no uh, dogs. And, uh, and we'll see if, how Ricky stacks up against uh, Jonah Ray. But we should keep a running tally. We'll keep a running tally of getting Doug with High Live. Which, which person? There'll always be a person that got the most too high. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. <laughs> and what, a, what an elegantly phrased prize that is. <laughs> Jacob Suroff is here, everybody. Uh, Jacob has been uh, kind of uh, off of the weed uh, a little bit. He hasn't been smoking as much as he used to back when uh, I hung out with him more. And we, but we just spent a few days together, and I, I got him back in shape. <laughs> <laughs> We went on the uh, Weezer cruise together, and uh, yeah, it was. I wish I was still on it. That's how. That's how great it was. And this is my favorite thing to do: is getting dug with high. But I, I had. I would have gone on that, but Weezer makes me throw up. <laughs> maybe, maybe Weezer and the rocking of the ship would uh, counteract against each other. Do I get to talk for my segment? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everybody else got to say stuff. Your segment. <laughs> yeah, it's my segment. Let it's me enjoy very it. orchestrated segments until we start smoking. <laughs> well, and then you can't really ask for a segment again. It <laughs> seems like we're introducing in the order of notoriety. I'm just glad I beat Jeff Tate. That's really. That's really. Oh. <laughs> you're, you're Jacob. You're already the villain of the I piece. I know. <laughs> That's why you brought me on. <laughs> I, you just made me way more sympathetic. And that's, I appreciate it. Still my segment, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff Tate is here, everybody. <laughs> Would you have liked to have gone on the Weezer cruise? Yeah, that sounds fun. It was. I it was really fun. fun. <laughs> you haven't lived until you've been smoking on a balcony, muttering to yourself, I'm the captain now. <laughs> I've done that. On the balcony of a ship? You didn't say ship. Oh. I've been on balcony plenty of balconies. Balcony of your home. <laughs> At your apartment. I'm the captain now. <laughs> you gotta let those fucking neighbors know. <laughs> You knock on the wall. <laughs> yeah. It's me. It's me, the captain. <laughs> the captain needs a cup of sugar. Oh. Of course, I mean heroin. Let me go. <laughs> Let me go back to Jacob for just a second, because that was fun to cut him off. But he really does. He does deserve a segment because he's been through a lot. He just had to do four shows with me in uh, six days. And uh, there was a stand-up and a Doug Loves Movies. And, uh, and a, uh, what else did we do? Movie Interruption. We Point interrupted Break. Point Break, which is uh, oh. the best. <laughs> It's, it's, it's perfect for interrupting because it's a really fun movie that turns Speaking out. Speaking of the microphone, Squid Brain. Yeah, Squid Brain. You Can remember Squid it? Brain? It? Like he's just. <laughs> he's not in it enough, Gary Busey, because I, I, I swear he turned during the making of that movie. That's when he became. That's when he started to become the Gary Busey yes. we know today. Yes. Yeah. It's true. When the movie started, I was, is this pre Crazy Gary Busey or post? And then I realized, oh, it's happening right this now. This is where it happened. <laughs> This is the moment. I became an expert on wax. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen this movie a lot, Greg. Right? We have a photo of Yeah, if you oh, could, no, if you could slip in a line that he says every few minutes for the rest of the show, it would make me happy. <laughs> I will. And we'll all guess which movie it is. Point break! <laughs> Um, but yeah, Jacob and I had a lot of a uh, lot of fun times and adventures, on, uh, and that's why we have matching uh, raspy voices tonight. Because uh, why it wasn't, was the it, it wasn't from it wasn't like we were running around going Weezer. It was <laughs> just talking. 
to be fair, I was, was, I was doing that. You I were was, doing I that. I was doing a lot. But it was, <laughs> we figured out it was because the, it's a rock cruise, so you're seeing rock bands all day long, but you're on a boat, so like the band is playing like in a corner of a bar in a casino or wherever, and so it's just crazy loud all the time. And so, But you want to have conversations with people because it's a friendly boat. And, uh, <laughs> and apparently when you're on a balcony, you're only muttering to yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Chance to really get to know people, and so you have to scream, <laughs> scream to be heard, and uh, so that's why our voices are gone. Good story. You just spent six days yelling. So you like Weezer? <laughs> you like Weezer? Yeah, Pinkerton is my favorite too. <laughs> that's you're a Weezer fan if Pinkerton is your favorite. It's official. Um, all right. So how are we doing on time? Oh shit, we gotta wrap it up. It's been. I am so high, I forgot we got high. I don't even remember us passing it. Have we We've had a got... hit yet? What's that? Have we had a hit? No, we're gonna hit it right at 20 minutes after the hour because that means it's 420 somewhere. And. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and that specific somewhere is Sydney, Australia. Really? <laughs> I've been told. I haven't done the research myself. <laughs> Why were they so excited it was Sydney, Australia? I don't know. I don't know. There's, uh, they, we get a lot of strange bumps out of the crowd for this show. <laughs> uh, it's because, a great place to get high. Mm -hmm. Because I assume, is it safe to assume most of you pre-gamed? Yeah. <laughs> So they're gonna laugh at shit that doesn't the make sense. The ones who aren't clapping are the highest, too. <laughs> there's some up there that's like. You <laughs> guys are too. They're not even oh, Asian. God, those were just chairs! <laughs> they're not I even Asian. Those chairs had glasses. <laughs> those are not real Asian. The guy in the that's front like is wearing of... a blanket. He brought a blanket. <laughs> and he's like, that's Are you and making smoke? It's a, it's a dope serape. Yeah. yeah. Because stoners, it, stoners would buy the shit out of blanket clothes. <laughs> it makes you feel comfortable, doesn't it, and safe. Safe and warm and secure and whatnot. It's like wearing a Ritz cracker, you know what I mean? You feel like mom's gonna come by and give you some soup and whatnot. <laughs> You know, you're, hit, you're hitting a strong indica or some dabs, you never know when you're gonna wanna have a sidewalk nap. <laughs> He's just starting to laugh at our first joke now. <laughs> Twenty minutes from now, he's gonna take that blanket off. Hey, stop making fun of me! <laughs> My people have traveled so far. <laughs> we will trade you. Oh God! I think <laughs> you did get a hand. I did. I got one hand back too. It took My me a people second. have made many gigas and brick a brick. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a necklace for the lovely blonde girl. In turquoise. So you're thinking the vaporizer worked now, Ricky? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ricky, you're so high. You're so high. You blow my mind. Hey, hey Ricky. Ricky. Hey, Ricky. Yeah. <laughs> What new wave song does with your name, <laughs> not, not a lot. Troops is a toughie to rhyme with, buddy. It it's goes 419, y'all. Oh. oh, shit. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what the fuck is that? That guy is the perfect guy to deliver that. <laughs> Yeah, I just wouldn't have looked right. Is that Chris we call, we call him the soft patriot. Yeah. <laughs> Doug's just delighted himself. <laughs> it's 
delighted himself. I'm still know. also laughing at Jeff Tate going, what the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, you have, so you haven't seen, seen, seen this yet? No. This is a, a, a vaporizer bag full of, you can see, it's uh, pretty, this, it kind of looks like uh, daytime in Los Angeles. <laughs> it's got a real nice uh, smoggy <laughs> feel to it. And uh, yeah, you just press this up to your mouth when, when the time comes. Take a little sip off of it. You don't have to finish the bag. You don't That's have good. To, That's <laughs> wild. Man. You don't have to clear the chamber bag. But um, yeah, and I, when it's 420, I want every. Oh, it is 420. Oh, Jesus. Somewhere, somewhere. So I want everybody to get a quick hit. Hello, Sydney. <laughs> oh, shit, so really. So shay. So be able, yeah, wipe it off, or if you have a, if you have a lighter, light it on fire. <laughs> Anybody ever do that to you? Like you, you take a hit and then you pass it back to them and then you take a lighter and they light the end of the pipe up? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm burn that shit off that you just put on there. <laughs> It's a smart move, I think. Smoke did come out. I was wrong about before. Don't yeah. freak it out, man. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of tastes like five people. <laughs> I wore blueberry crushed lipstick, so it would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Uh, There's more? There we go. Yeah. We did I it. mean, you know, pace yourselves, but. Uh... Why? It goes at this pace, we'll be dead. If we keep smoking it, they'll keep bringing it to us, so. I've never this been high on stage before, so might as well <laughs> fucking. Okay, first of all, you're a liar. <laughs> really? You don't get you. I you wait till after the show to get high. Yeah, that's your usual. Let's do it right now. Jeff Tate's high history, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jeff, the first answer is Cochise. <laughs> when? <laughs> what? Just pass that off there, Matt, and we'll get a new one. Uh, when did you? When did you start smoking, comedian Jeff Tate? Oh, I thought it was like history, history. <laughs> And don't say a wow. couple minutes ago. Like, when did you start? <laughs> I was smoking. 19. Oh, okay. And why? Why did you Why did you get into it? Are you passing, bro? You're passing already? Are I'm in the middle of my segment. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we have a medic okay. standing by, so it's totally safe. Oh, that's good. I was uh, like, put us in chairs that are as far from the ground as possible. <laughs> now, this is great, though. This is. It's going so, to so when we fall, play. it'll be spectacular. No, that's a lot. <laughs> Trying to make television here for the internet. We're smoking like the RA is coming. <laughs> yeah, blow it into the towel. I don't know what that is. I've never worked at a hospital. So. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Why I saw you... a news jockey once, though, and it was awesome. <laughs> Why did you start, Jeff? I heard great things. Okay. <laughs> it was, the, I think the first time I was drunk and the second time I did it, uh, I went, I, like, my friend was like, we should get high and go to the movies, and we went and saw Event Horizon. <laughs> And that's, that's why, to this day, you insist that's a great movie. I don't. I think it was very scary. <laughs> and I, I walked up to the counter and I said, uh, I took, I was trying to sneak in a candy bar and a Mountain Dew. And I set it on the counter. I was like, one for Event Horizon. And she goes, you can't come in with that. And I was like, how does she know we're hot? <laughs> Did you just finish it outside and then go in? No, I told her I was gonna go put it in the car, and then I went outside and put it in my pocket. Yeah. And then went into the movie. Smart. You were not smart and then smart, and it worked out. Yeah, but Event Horizon, man, that's fucking, that's a solid okay, movie. Okay, we'll save that for the other, we'll save that for the other podcast. <laughs> One of the others. Uh, what about you, Jacob? Jacob Siroff, what's your uh, high history? It was uh, peer pressure. 100%. I, I moved from San Francisco to the suburbs in the middle of 10th grade, and I didn't smoke weed. And some kid asked me, do you smoke weed? You're from San Francisco. I said, yeah, of course I do, because I needed friends. <laughs> and he came to mind. He goes, great, I'm coming to your house today to get you high. And I just didn't know how to back out of it. So I, so I smiled. I didn't fly. So he brought this other guy, and, I, and, he, and he made me smoke weed. And then I, that started like a 20-year, every day, all day. <laughs> 
fucking up of my life. <laughs> Well, we don't know how to, I, you I never figured out how to monetize my, my, my habits like you have, Doug. Well, that's... It's, a, it's amazing you have an empire. Well, addiction. you know, well, you're welcome to join the empire. <laughs> I could be Vader, maybe, to your emperor. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I'll so that, that's how, it was, it was completely peer pressure. I, I, I didn't want to smoke at all. So all right, well. Awesome. But now... Now you're in. Now I'm back. I took a three-year break. Doug got me back. At least you, uh... <laughs> Are you laughing because I'm uh, bullguarding this? Um. <laughs> I, I was showing Ricky my ring. It's made from a quarter. <laughs> Would you like to describe what it says there on the part of the ring? That's an eagle. No, that's not. <laughs> I got a, a pan made of tin file. <laughs> 1959, the year Greg was born, and then the rest is the quarter. <laughs> well, what Ricky's been smoking is super silver haze. <laughs> it says in God we trust. That's and, what, uh, was, what have the rest of us been smoking? Leafly said this one packs quite a punch, and it, it makes you want to get lost in art for hours. <laughs> So in other words, you're going to look at a painting for a long time, and eventually you'll see a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> and if we get to the Indica tonight, which I think we should do a round of Indica just to please the people out there that think, yeah, people think this show is an Indica hater, and I don't, I don't hate any weed. <laughs> all, all weed is my friend. Just one friend makes me go to bed too early. <laughs> I don't want that from a friend. That sounds like a real control freak. <laughs> <laughs> what if you had a friend that told the, you when to go to bed? They don't. <laughs> I'm the one that, I'm hey, the one wanna, knocks. You want to watch Long Kiss Goodnight? I think it's time for you to go to sleep, Doug. <laughs> it's almost 10.30. <laughs> But on a recent show, we had an indica that we have here tonight as well that I called Hirawana. But turns out it's pronounced heroina, because it's like the heroin of weed. I thought heroina sounded really like that's something the comedy patriot would smoke. <laughs> All right, Ricky. Ricky, what, what's your high history? What was your first time? Um, I was. I think I was like 23 or 24. It was old. It was older. In older, my life. sure. And we listened to Eminem for like four hours. <laughs> The candy? Uh, what? The no. Candy? Yeah, the candy. They're we listen to Encore. They don't talk like you do in the commercials. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. We listen to his album on repeat. Did you get a hit? Until a neighbor yes, told us did. to stop. It's out there now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but one time Kate accidentally got high before we went on stage. <coughs> accidentally? At UCB. She <coughs> fell asleep in the green room when people were smoking. <laughs> and I had to wake her up for our show, for our set, and we went on stage, and Brody Stevens was on stage playing drums, and, and we were dressed as Garfunkel and Oates from the 70s, and so she had a wig and a fro, and then Kate just started putting her head against the mic. <laughs> and we had this back and forth duet, and I sang my thing, and I was like, da 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 and then she just was like, <laughs> I'd like and to then point I just out had that to Kate call just it. called a, a mustache a fro. So you're getting really high, I think. You just called me Kate, so you're really high. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Easy. Have you not yeah. seen this bag of weed? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. But we had to just like call the show and have Brody take over. Brody Stevens saved us with his drums and stuff. Also, she just gave someone else's high history. <laughs> yeah, well, Brody, uh, you know, we've invited him on the show. We love him and uh, hope he wants to come on someday. But, uh, you know, he's currently trying to, he's still figuring out the right mix of medications. Mm -hmm. And, you know, doing something like this might throw it off a little. So I, 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 respe I respect that. I was not that he come on here. I was just saying that he saved us when Kate was really high and could not perform. No, I got the point of your story. Oh, I see. <laughs> I then took it and added something to it that might be of interest to people. Oh, I see. <laughs> I did not realize. No, I see. <laughs> uh, Greg and uh, Matt, of course, have been on the, uh, the other show and told us their high history then, so we don't, why repeat it, even though no one probably remembers, because uh, everyone watching this show no, you can watch the same episode. It's the new episode again. But uh, and I, I my shroom history. Oh, okay. Real quick, give same us your shroom here. history. 
You guys can look it up in the timeline. <laughs> <laughs> but my roommate, who was a pot dealer, he came home with a bag of shrooms uh, one day. It was literally a big old bag. And he's like, let's shroom. And I was ready to do that. So I was like, OK, but we didn't have, we didn't, I don't have a scale yet. OK, let's just guess what a gram is. <laughs> so he, just put, he picked out a calf like this big, <laughs> which later, once we had a scale, it was definitely like three and a half, four grams. <laughs> Do a gram when you're starting. So anyway, I did at least three grams. Cut to, also, side note, Fish was playing on our campus, and they were nobody at this point. They were just be, uh, playing in the still basement of a house. What's that? Still starting with an F? Yeah, still yeah. just regular Fish. They can still spell it at this point. Still just living in Abe Vigoda's shadow? <laughs> did you know he's still alive? <laughs> That's a callback from a month ago. <laughs> okay, so, Matt, finish this story. Okay. okay. Right so, after this, it's what? got a good cliffhanger. <laughs> people want to know the people are dying to know the rest of the story. <laughs> we'll hear the rest of Matt's story after these messages from Video Podcast Network. <laughs> I think we're on the topic that came up on uh, on Twitter. If we can, uh, I think we might be able to see it on the screen. If you had to switch places with the lead character in one movie, Jenny, <laughs> uh, what movie or who would that uh, person be? If you want to know what my immediate reaction in my head was, the T-Rex from Jurassic Park. <laughs> That's the first thing that That's popped into my head. That's the part you would like to play. You know how much time that T-Rex had character? to spend just standing in front of green screens? <laughs> yeah. That poor dinosaur. <laughs> that poor dinosaur. Can you make the T-Rex noise? That one. We got shut down by the man. There was something in the YouTube... Uh, algorithm. Algorithm, <laughs> where a robot decided that it saw something that it wasn't supposed to be happening bad. on YouTube yeah. and shut us off. I just That's never scary, right? remember that there's a whole world out there. Like, <laughs> there is, ever. There's a whole galaxy. I mean, well, that's universe. true. There's a galaxy behind us. Yeah. And a whole internet starting right here and then going out. Trippy. I don't get it at all. <laughs> <laughs> Have a seat, prepare yourselves, settle down. Quiet down, simmer it up, get a wrench, tighten it up, take them out, wash them up, bring them back in. Well, let's get started. Yeah. I'm not trying to move you. I'm, I'm completely can't move myself. My chair's stationary. Matt, when you were on the stationary. show. Oh. oh. Oh, wait, first finish your story. Oh. <laughs> Where are we? Uh, okay, cut to, and it was a cut to because I can't remember. <laughs> In real life, you sometimes cut two things. But cut to outside our football field, and this is a Division Three football field, so it, it was just one, it's basically a high school field. And it had a chain, a six foot chain link fence around the whole field, except for the main entrance, which was a big, ornate, iron, uh, like 20 foot with spikes, real beautiful thing. And for some reason, I felt we needed to climb over that fence to get into <laughs> the football field. Cut to, you know in your jeans when you wear them for a while and they start to get that hole right there in your crotch? <laughs> one of the spikes yeah, went problem. through one hole and out another hole. 
And I, also, if you've ever done shrooms, sometimes you lose your muscle control. Like, you're just like, it all goes away. I am literally hanging by my crotch on a 20-foot iron fence. With my friends going, come down. I'm like, I can't pull myself over this thing. Then cut to the 50-yard line. Somehow I got down, and uh, me asking, what is my name? <laughs> No joke, and where in the universe are we? <laughs> and my friend going, dude, I can't deal with you now. The fish show is about to begin. <laughs> Holy shit, that's like everything that would ever happen during a lifetime of doing shrooms. <laughs> <laughs> you got it all done in one sesh. <laughs> I just pictured, I, I think that'd be a good commercial for those jeans. That, <laughs> that you could hang, that you could, you. You could hang from a skin, spike baby. and they don't, yeah. <laughs> it's Matt, when, we, when you were on the show in the studio, in the spacement, we, I think we never got a good answer out of you for most famous person you ever smoked with. Like, you were still thinking about it after the show, I think. Did you come up with one since then? Oh, I thought I said... To me, at the time, well, Stephen Wright was a huge, was very huge for me. And I think to you me did say that time, on the show. This is what the same conversation happened. I know. Like, yeah, hey. I thought so. But you like ultimately were like, but I don't, I don't know if I've ever really spoken to anybody really, really, really famous, like or anyone. There'd be a surprise that they smoked. Well, know? like Ricky says, it just happens in the green room at UCB a lot. <laughs> So, so we should just invite really famous people to come stand around in there and see if they take a hit. Basically. Yeah. Okay, I'll say it. Bill Clinton. <laughs> I was the guy. <laughs> hey, Greg, what, you also were kind of like uh, floundering on that question when I asked you. I didn't understand the question. <laughs> I was busy looking at the Casas Guernica and giving it a once-over. When I saw the screaming horse's head and the metaphorical <laughs> rendition of the Spanish fascist bombs dropping on the poor, underprivileged people of Spain. Suddenly, a raptor came into view. <laughs> so for me, that's what art's like. <laughs> Ricky, what about you? You got anybody you could out that's super famous that smoked with you? I've smoked with famous people, but no one that would be a surprise, I think. Okay. Maybe the Try most, the most yeah, famous would probably example. be Tim Robbins. Oh, that's a nice. great one. But he seems like he smokes, he, right? Yeah. He seems cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah I we bet. did a play together, so we yeah, got high. Did. <laughs> that's the first time I ever saw you. I mean, I'd seen you in a movie, didn't know it, but I, the first time I ever saw you was, was in that Tim, Tim Robbins play that, that I didn't understand. And you sent me a message on Friendster. I did. Friendster, you guys. That's real. <laughs> I played Condoleezza Rice. That's also real. <laughs> this one, me here, I saw the show twice, did not know that's who she was supposed to be. <laughs> You are a pale comparison, let me say. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, have you had any celebrity smoke sessions? Well, I wouldn't say, like, not, nothing A-list Harrison Ford level, but uh, I'm proud of my MF Doom smoke sesh. My, we stalked him. He was a part of a rap group before he was MF Doom called KMD that my brother and I were obsessed with. And we stalked him and found him on, in, on Long Island. We were there for a dad's funeral. We're like, no, we gotta find MF Doom. <laughs> yeah, prioritize. Yeah. We, 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 we called 411 and got his mother's number and we showed up at his house and... and he, Those were the days yeah. when you get a guy's yeah. mother's it number. A, yeah, it was a pretty good stalk. It was a pretty good stalk. We were 19 years old, but he came, he came through and, and he, uh, he, uh, he, got, he was very impressed with our California week because this was before hydroponics was everywhere and they had shitty weed in New York still. And he was really impressed with our weed. And then he asked us for some to go. We, we obliged. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> and then I acted in a shitty independent movie with him years later that no one will ever see, hopefully. Wow. Can I tell a secondhand Harrison Ford story? That yeah. wasn't Harrison Ford. That, right, that because you talking. said oh, Harrison okay. Ford. That was a great Harrison Ford story. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Greg's my favorite rapper. Oh, I got such a good one. Ready to go. Don't let me forget it. Do you guys know who MF Doom is? Please stop talking. No. 
<laughs> He's giving the giant hand. Greg, I hope you're that second. Makes me nervous. God damn it! it. <laughs> now I remember what it's like smoking with you. We're standing on the balcony on the cruise, smoking weed out of an apple. <laughs> and every story I tell never ends because you change the subject while I'm trying to tell it. By the way, you should see Doug make an apple. It's a thing of beauty. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I hope the second hand story about Smokey Pop was that I didn't get high with God Harrison. damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I did the whole setup again for people who forgot. <laughs> That's when they get you. You can't have to do the whole setup again. <laughs> I just hope it was with Luke Skywalker because, of course, he had a second hand. <laughs> And they cut right before he goes, am I gonna be able to jerk off with this? <laughs> we have fun. How could this be wrong? Uh, it can't be wrong. <laughs> Do we have the pot topic song queued up? I know we don't have any on the cards, but I just thought of a pot topic. If that's pot all. topic. <laughs> That good. was outstanding. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait until you hear what happens when I say pot quiz hop shot. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's like when my friends try to imitate the Seinfeld song. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. <laughs> we recorded your friends. Chim chim, chip a chip a chim. Bonk, 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 bonk. Puck a puck a chow! So. Bam, bam, puck a chip a chow! I, I always thought the theme song for Seinfeld is what Kramer hears in his head. But now we know that's not what up. he hears in his head. No. <laughs> it's not even no. close. No. We don't. We thought it was fun music. Wow. It is not. It's very bad. You guys, I'm so happy with myself that I remembered all of that. I'm fucking stoned as shit. And I got a joke, and it's a fucking good joke. <laughs> Let's hear it for the joke. Um, <laughs> where were we, you guys? Harrison, oh, yes. pot, pot topic. topic. Pot topic. Pot topic. Put it on, bounce, scram, cham, 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 cham. Pot topic. I learned. I learned just from talking to people. Mm. Maybe it was on the news that. Five states are gonna have outright legalization, like Washington and Colorado, on the ballot in the fall, and that two of them are California and Florida. No. That's not true. It's not? No, definitely not California. Why? I read that in the paper today. Definitely What'd they say? Not California. What'd they say? This Just, no? 2016. Oh well, Sorry, okay. Guys. I, let me let we me. We couldn't fix get it. together, and they can't. Let's get serious for a second. They can't get together because all these legalized marijuana uh, organizations are shitty, and they're unorganized, and they don't get shit done. Don't say that. Don't say that. They're watching this. That's doing something. <laughs> they gotta get their shit together, man. The last time in L.A., how many of you guys knew the difference between those two props? Nobody I talked to knew the difference. It was it's confusing, but I think that's the lawmakers don't as get much their shit as the together and get organized. I, He's really getting into it. Wait, 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 where? I'd like to talk oh. about the mixing and the races for a minute, if I may. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's what did get on the ballot. Any hoozle. Five states. Five states are primed to put it on the ballot at some point. <laughs> Is, is Florida stars. in the fall? Is Florida in the fall? What's that? Is Florida gonna be in the fall? I didn't read about that, I don't know. <laughs> that Florida article... fucks everything up! <laughs> so you're saying that article, that article you, you only memorized. You can get weed in Florida if you buy it with a gun. <laughs> yeah, they have stand your green laws 
there. Uh, so, nice. Yeah. Say, say hello to my I little like, friend. I feel like I have to fight to get them out. Damn, can you bring us? I can barely speak, you guys, and I'm screaming my jokes. But I love it. It's I know just, you got a big Jenny like, Moore just, thing going on. It's awesome. It's just like a real pot circle. You're Everybody so can't pay attention to each other. But we're all you guys having, seen Bigfoot's we're all having anywhere? fun together. Oh, gross. Just getting that now. Hey, 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 I got an idea. I got an idea. Total soft. You, you two guys, you two crazy <laughs> improvisers, pass out, ba pass out, get back and forth and say different things than it is. Yes. Other, yes. other than, yes. other than what it really is. Oh <laughs> I will only do it if it takes a half hour. Thank you. <laughs> We're called Frozen <laughs> Fallopian too, but we do use a little bit different. <laughs> Matt and I haven't written anything we're gonna do here. We're gonna do everything based on your suggestion, which I'm not going to take right now. <laughs> oh, the humanity! <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't look like the Titanic. Yeah. <laughs> that improv's so awesome. <laughs> I get extra points for walking, too, by the way. <laughs> no one else is walking here. I'm too hot to get up. <laughs> Am I supposed to be keeping track of points? Yeah, I got six. <laughs> Let's get a Twitter question in here, you guys. Doug, let me answer that question before you uh, oh, pose oh, oh. I hope you guys have all done nitrous before. Yeah, yeah. That was good. That was good. Oh, improv's That's hilarious. That's how you get him to do another one. You throw it at him. Yeah. <laughs> that one struck a nerve with me, though. The yeah. nitrous one. Yeah. Let's do a uh, Twitter question. Um, I am Samuel. I assume Jackson. His avatar is a Kangol hat. Um, wrote... Which city or state? I give, I declare. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, I hear my declare is the whole. Whoa, <laughs> 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 score. Well, you can stop me up. Stop me up. <laughs> fell out. <laughs> Jeez, wheeze. How do you like the golf course? Well, the ball washers are okay. <laughs> mm. Maybe I shouldn't hand it like, to you that's right the now. First question. That's the first question the guy with his balls in the ball washer gets asked. How do you like this place? <laughs> Magic of shitty uh, improv, Because if you like it, uh, you're not going to be able to stay <laughs> if you keep doing that. <laughs> Jeff Tate, which city or state, take your pick, has the worst hecklers? Fuck. Okay, Fair let's go little, to Jacob. Let's little, go to Jacob. It's Little Rock, Arkansas. Little Rock, Arkansas? Yeah. Did you just say that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's where I'm from. <laughs> hey, that's fine as long as you fucking shut up during a show. They don't ever, in Little Rock, they're persistent uh -huh. and they don't make sense. <laughs> That's what they were saying. Uh, was it the Looney Bin or Vino's or what? It was the Looney Bin. Are you really from Well, there you go. You go to Looney Bin, what do you want? Are you from Looney Bin? I am. Brooks Robinson, man. Brooks Robinson, man. Come on, guys. 
<laughs> so they give clubs silly names so that you should just, uh, you, you know, what were you thinking coming here in the first place? Uh, you, why'd you think it would be good? <laughs> I don't know. I've never failed, fared well at any loony bins across the country. <laughs> I always wish there was like one. a chuckle sandwich, but there's none anywhere. Hi, Ricky. Hi. <laughs> Welcome back. Ricky stopped by to I say really, something. <laughs> I really wanted a club to be called Chuckle Sandwich, but there's none yet. <laughs> Chuckle Sandwich is the name of the club? Chuckle Sandwich. I, I think so. <laughs> is that what you're saying? I, mean, I just want it to there be. to be a club. Do people, oh. do people even say Knuckle Sandwich anymore? Because it's do. hard to do puns <laughs> off of stuff people don't even say anymore. There's a, there's a chain of Mexican restaurant bars called Adobe Gila's. And that is a, that is a play on... Dobie Gillis, a fucking TV show from like the late 60s or some shit. But it's a joke nobody gets. Every time I go there, I just get drunk and explain it to everyone. If you're the only one that gets the joke, is it really a joke? <laughs> I don't know what it is. I, I get what a, uh, or cheeseburger, cheeseburger. I get that place. Like everyone knows that they sell yeah. cheeseburgers, and that there was a sketch where they used to say that. There's a Danish chain uh, called Gilligan's Island. <laughs> I'm actually shocked at myself, really. <laughs> Do you have a least favorite city or state, Jacob? No, I never, I've never been heckled. What? Not once. Somebody heckled him. <laughs> never, 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 never been heckled. Guys, I think he's deaf. <laughs> <laughs> I heckle them. <laughs> See my act. Uh, yeah, you do. He is. He's. He will take you down. Damn. <laughs> To I don't least, no, I don't have a least favorite. I like to play anywhere. Vegas, maybe. Do you want me to give you the nothing. email address of the Little Rock guy? <laughs> sure. <laughs> that would be fun All if you MC. went and did it and reported back to us. <laughs> Book your ticket for out on Thursday. There's no way you're going to stay the whole week. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that sounds horrible. I thought we were all making funny there. noises. <laughs> Did, and, and has uh, Garfunkel and Oates <laughs> ever been heckled? Yeah. I would say the ties between Dallas and Denver. Those are our two. Big D. Big, yeah, the Double Big D. Double D. The Big Ds, yeah. Is, is the improv in Dallas? D and D. Yeah. Oh, you didn't like it? No, we just got heckled in one show, but oh. that's OK. How did you guys go over in Detroit? <laughs> we haven't played Detroit yet. But How about <laughs> Dawson's Creek? Dawson's Creek. <laughs> um, <laughs> Dogtown, does someone say that? <laughs> Delaware. <laughs> Delaware. Diego Comma San. <laughs> um, I don't mind getting heckled, though, for some reason. I think it's really funny, and I always start laughing. But what do they yell at you? Do they make it, is it a man yelling something, like, sexual or something? Usually, or? yeah. But then sometimes That's it's a drunk it woman. That's what it is to me, too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess you and Garfield Notes get, show us your dick. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> what is it they say? Um, like, show us your tits, or they'll say which one they like. For some reason, they'll just call out one of us. <laughs> it's always really weird. Oh, it's like, Kate, Kate, show me your tits. Yeah. <laughs> Garfunkel, no. Yeah. Garfunkel and Kate. Yeah. Or they'll tell us to stop talking and play a song. That happens a lot. <laughs> Yeah. Stop talking. I yeah. agree with that one. Yeah. <laughs> we have no, had a I couple the, make I me a sandwich, between, which is my favorite. The between show banter is very is very cute. And yeah. I, it's part of the show. It's and, fun. You know, the people don't yell that at Springsteen. They no. should. No. They, Next. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sing a song with Mary in it. <laughs> Did everybody answer the question? Greg, you haven't answered that one. Um, what's the question? The worst hecklers. City. Have oh, you made... Pookie, you know. <laughs> no one gets Western with the proof kit, and I'll fucking annihilate you. <laughs> I, don't, I don't fucking deal with hecklers. I chemically dispose of them. 
Yeah, no, 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 Charlie Brown. Chad Earth, man. There's no room when I'm on stage for me and would be insurrections of entertainment. <laughs> and so I don't deal. But the, uh, my fi the goodest one was I was in uh, Caroline's in New York, which uh, can be a little ropey on Friday and Saturday. Like What's the crowd is well. In other words, like. People have knots in their head. Um, oh, they, that cleared it up. Yeah, <laughs> they've come. They've come from another borough of New York, and they're in Manhattan for entertainment. And the Jersey borough. Well, whatever it is, the lights have put the zap on them. You know what I mean? And they've never felt this free. And. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yet at the same time, there's a giant disconnect because they're not watching Storage Wars or whatnot. <laughs> so they know that there's supposed to be entertainment going on, but the faggotude is bunking their chitlins. And so <laughs> I'm, I get through my set, it's like a Friday Night Late, and there's a cat in the front row, and he's, his body shape can best be described as raindrop. <laughs> He has no, he has no hair. Welcome back to Greg Entertains High, people. <laughs> he, has, he, has no, he has no hair, and his skull is not attractive. And <laughs> at the end, I'm about to wrap it up, and he goes, I got a question, and that's how he spoke. I swear it on the fucking flaming balls of Kathy Lee Gifford. <laughs> that this is how he spoke, he said, I got a question. And I went, at long last, darling, what is your query? And he said, how come you don't talk more about pussy? <laughs> <laughs> that was his heckle. And I put my hands behind my back and I said, pumpkin butter, I've had more pussy than you've had hot meals. <laughs> <And> <laughs> Now the crowd likes me. <laughs> it's been an hour of, oh, fuck. <laughs> and now, hey, that was fucking funny. I got that. <laughs> that was a quantitative put down. Was it a riff? Huh? Was it a riff? Yeah, no, and then I said, and oh, to make me sound even more egomaniacal, I go, I was standing like this, I said, I want everyone to notice that I haven't taken my hands out from behind my back, <laughs> as if I can do this with both hands behind my back. And, then, <laughs> and at this point, he was gibbering in a mass, and at that point, the audience was delighted, and at that point, I felt triumphant over a certain, <laughs> the, you know, it's not so much that you want to win, it's like, it's just an ego situation, and you're the substitute teacher in a lot of fucking gigs, <laughs> you know what I mean? And every once in a while, Mr. Fucking Cosgrove wins the fucking, you know, everyone comes out and goes, yeah. I didn't know that the fucking river that ran through Rome was called the Tiber. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the <laughs> you should go to Little Rock, man. Little Rock sounds awesome. I love blue collar audiences because they're always high on hard drugs. And I oh, think that they're really honest. <laughs> they're None honest of people that way. Suburban crowds give me a pain, you know? When people think they know shit, it's worse than when they just don't know shit. Then it's, <laughs> you know. Do you have a place you don't like, Matt? Yeah, wherever Jeff's from. <laughs> I'm also from Little Rock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Cincinnati. That's, That's right. That's where I'm from. Sure. <laughs> Pete Rose, Get everybody. Going, yeah. Pete Rose, man. Nice. All right. So now we really are going to do the uh, pot quiz. Pot quiz. Shot. Bing, bang, chow. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, we started to play this with you. I think we've played like one round of it with other guests. It's, it's something I always don't have time for. And this is a fatter episode of the show, so I'm going to bring it on. This is the uh, Urban Dictionary Definitions. 
Yeah. <laughs> so we'll start with Matt, and I'll tell you one. And if you get it right, then uh, you know um, we won't. We'll we'll just say you got it right. But if you miss, <laughs> but if you miss, if you miss, then we'll pass it to the next person until somebody gets it or nobody does. Hey, where's the fucking weed? <laughs> Thank you. I don't know. I threw down. I threw down the bag. Like, bring me another. And uh, it threw down a bag of Doug. Oh. Hey, mom! I got fired from that bringing out the bag of weed. Doug. <laughs> His it's the ultimate don't get high in your own supply. <laughs> He's just been back there hitting these bags instead of bringing them to us. <clears throat> okay. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, but here, I'll just take it straight to you since you were yeah. sounded so, so upset. Ah. <laughs> who, do you, who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Hey, Edward go. Asner? <laughs> Sesame Street is brought to you by the letter T. <laughs> Don't make me a prop in you. <laughs> All right, Matt. You got your weed. Now you're going to know this. Uh, <laughs> cheerleader effect. What is that? The According to the Urban Dictionary, what's the cheerleader effect? And these aren't all sexual, right? No. Well, they, they are, they're judgmental. <laughs> I feel like I have the cheerleader effect and I don't know what it is. Uh, a little bit. Maybe, yeah. Okay, this is a good clue. You might be part, of, you might be about... part of the cheerleader effect. Oh, good, okay. Enthusiastic about stuff you have no idea about? <laughs> That's the word it. or the definition? That's not it. That's a very good answer. Yeah, the that word could be the definition? It's the word. <laughs> and so you gotta come you gotta up with You gotta guess the definition, the definition yes. <laughs> I thought cheerleader effect. But that's a great idea. The next one I'll give you the definition, then you tell me what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> Improvise that shit. <laughs> Greg, what do you think it is? Uh, the cheerleader effect? Uh-huh. Uh. -huh. uh <laughs> I think a lot of people should know, you know what I mean? <laughs> Hang on a minute. The answer's in this bag. <laughs> it's, it's Willy Wonka pot. I don't remember eating a balloon. <laughs> But you'll never forget shitting it out with air in it. I think you'll find wow. that's the complexity of that joke. I think I know the answer Ricky, to Ricky, what do you I... think it is? You're last. Oh, good. No. <laughs> I think, for real, I think it's when girls make guys think they're funnier than they are, and then they get too confident. Oh, nice. There right? Like, oh, that. baby, that was so great. I love it. That was awesome. I've never done that. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. That's not what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, do you, we don't have a buzzer. Jacob, do you? Uh... Oh, I feel like it's Hollywood Squares. I'm supposed to have like a funny answer than a real answer, you know? I, don't have I just got an I idea. Have either. At a few, next show, next month, I'm going to juggle three of these. <laughs> I got I to gotta learn to juggle, but I, I think I can do it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jacob. I think what? It's fuck, just the fucking the quarterback? <laughs> They always fuck the quarterback. I feel like that's close by Doug's face. That's not bad. <laughs> it's, not, it's not right either. It's not right, but it's not bad. Uh, Jeff, what do you think it is? He's, he's very, very confident. Is it when a chair? Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Was that the Macy's parade? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I didn't the realize I didn't go any lower. <laughs> the character of Los Angeles Smog is the newest balloon. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think it is, Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I think it's when a, if a cheerleader falls like off a hum, like one of those pyramids, and then a tsunami happens on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> like if you go back in time and and fucking step on a bug, it fucks up the future. It's a cheerleader. <laughs> You go back to the 50s and you push a cheerleader to the ground and then 50 years later, we're all <laughs> Chinese. It's like, we're, we're com- they describe it in just three sentences. And it goes like this. When you see a group of girls or guys and they look hot, but when you see each person individually, they are not. <laughs> Is that's good. real good. If you ever hear a live that's record, that's so good. We're gonna go to a commercial. <laughs> we'll be right back. Do it to me, see if it makes me laugh really hard. Oh, it always does. There's this joke that if I say it to Todd, he loses his mind every time. I don't want to do it now. It puts too much pressure on me. It has to happen. Can I suggest something? Doug, (laughs) say the joke. I met a guy who said he had a talking dog. Ask it any question you want. I was like, all right, uh, what's the thing on the top of the house? And the dog says, woof. And I'm like, okay, that's cute. And he goes, ask it another question. So I said, uh, who's the greatest baseball player of all time? Ruth. And I was like, see? He's just going to keep doing that every time. He's like, ask it one more question. OK, name a tourist spot in San Francisco. And the dog goes, Worf. <laughs> Fisherman's. <laughs> Worf. <laughs> <laughs> out of it, Doug. Let's go skate. Okay. Wow. Hey, we're back. We're talking about peeing and the best position to not feel like you're having to pee. Mm-hmm. So sitting is better? Sitting is better. Well, when I stand up, I feel like I have to pee, but when I sit down, I'm okay. Okay, so stay seated till the show's over. Okay. <laughs> then we'll be good. She's um, right, you guys. I forgot to tell Greg to stay seated till the show's over. Do you think he left? No. Where, what's he doing? I told him there was more show. Okay, good. <laughs> Greg? I feel like he stood up and then had to pee. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, there he is. There he is. Thank you. Thank you. He made it. Greg, Welcome back. Greg, someone. <laughs> we have a great second half plan. We're going to play pop shots. <laughs> <laughs> Scavity Duke! <laughs> Welcome to SeaWorld. <laughs> Is that from Point Break? <laughs> I just thought of one. <laughs> I just thought of something Gary Busey says in Point Break. Right? We were doing Does that he earlier. say that? When they're Welcome in the pool. Sea World. Yeah, when they're in the pool. Oh, okay. I feel like you could make it up though, too. And Utah. Still be real. Utah. Two. <laughs> I yeah. saw it yesterday. I don't remember yeah. anything about it. <laughs> remember? He was like, bring me live. two. What did he want? Sandwiches or something? They got the best meatball sandwiches I've yeah. ever had in my life. Me- meatball sandwiches. So, yeah. I'm so hungry, I can eat a buffalo. Bring me, bring me two of those. Yeah. Oh, oh my God, two. we should. Two. He leans out the car. Two. Two. And he goes, boy, that Calvin and Hobbes. He's laughing at Calvin yeah, and Hobbes. Yeah, Calvin and Hobbes. Hobbes. <laughs> Only 
Holy shit. It's fucking good, man. It's amazing how well you know this movie. <laughs> it's an American classic. You would do yourself a favor, really, in a service uh, by bathing in it. <laughs> hey, point break. Somebody said that, right? Yeah. <laughs> You think I'm just here to get in on your point break? Something like that. <laughs> Some sort of Keanu nonsense. Uh, Greg Proops, Twitter question. Uh, have you made any plans to make the Greg Proops old time baseball hour a reality? Woo! Yeah, oh, no. at the JR Lancaster wants to know. I want to know. Thank you. It was Doug's idea, really. We, we were doing Getting Doug with High in Culver City at a, a very famous movie studio. And, uh, <laughs> Uh, in an in incredibly close room that by the end of the shoot, the crew is higher than you, right? The cameras are wobbling. Uh, the cues are erratic. Uh, and, and basically, it falls apart into a shambles. It's like being in Three Dog Night. The song starts, and then at the end, you're like, what song are we doing? <laughs> so uh, at, during that period of history, uh, I said I should do it, but this crowd doesn't want to. I have no yeah, idea maybe, what the question maybe. is. <laughs> maybe I would. Oh my it, like, it, you have to like old time baseball stories and shit like that. So that's, yeah. what, that's what it would be like. I think it'll be great, though, because it'll be you telling them, so that'll make it Was fun. Was all that from Point Break? <laughs> it's right before they hit the bank the last time. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy Love Lady. <laughs> It's just a guy just that breaking it down. <laughs> what his life's all about, Jimmy Love Lady. Um, uh, he wants to know, Jeff Tate, how does it feel getting mistaken for the original lead singer of Queensryche? <laughs> who is, of course, who's it only, of course, named Jeff Tate. It only happens in print. You know what I mean? Like, I don't look like him. <laughs> so it's only people who show up. But expecting him to show up, though, Yeah, sometimes. idiots who show up at a comedy club thinking the fucking guy from Queensryche is going to be there. <laughs> How many people have thought they were seeing Garfunkel and Oates, for real? So many people. Like a pairing of <laughs> Yeah, they thought they were seeing John Oates and, and Art Garfunkel. Ar they're always really old and they get mad and then they like harump and leave. I see what you're saying. <laughs> She's saying I should play it up. <laughs> I should only do like real divey, dirty rock bars. <laughs> and be like, Jeff Tate, guess what? Solo. Like really like. <laughs> That's it. Jeff Tate solo, you'll sell some tickets. Yeah, I people, just saw. Uh, nobody likes me anyway. Does, but the I people who like you will buy them too. The, <laughs> you know, it's good for everybody. I just saw uh, recently Paul Simon and Sting, and I thought it was going to be your, your guys' new group. <laughs> <laughs> it was fucking Paul Simon and Sting. <laughs> yeah, it was so disappointing that it wasn't me and Kate. Wait, why? Did you say Sting because you couldn't think of Daryl Hall? <laughs> no, that's a real thing they are touring. <laughs> They really are touring? They are. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, hey, let, hey, me, let, let me catch you up on what you missed. The uh, yeah. lady just came in. Uh, and then we're you tell high. us about we're that high. shit you took. That's what you, yeah, that and we're high. That's what you missed. Um, are you wearing Jod purse? <laughs> What are those? What? what people wear to ride horses? Oh, oh. those do look like Jod purse. Oh, this is dead anyway. Thank you. <laughs> I, it, it, this isn't. If you're wearing jodhpurs, it's cool. This isn't one of those jodhpur free, <laughs> you know, like you go to the bathroom and it says no jodhpurs and whatnot. It's not like that. I We're up in Miami here. Whatever pants you're wearing, if you're wearing culottes or clam diggers, <laughs> clam diggers or turnips. Oh, that's funny you should say that. The next Urban Dictionary uh, definition is uh, clam digger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What would that be? What would it clam? It's, an, clam it's digger an awesome be? song by the Naz. It's about <laughs> girls who dig shellfish. I feel like it's a guy looking for a G spot. <laughs> Wouldn't that be like, you're like, where is it? It's somewhere. Or, no, no, no. Why would not the, the guy the care? <laughs> <laughs> well, man, he's just looking for whatever he left in there. Oh, yeah. Also, maybe he's just trying to get his hot wheels out. Yeah, why did you? <laughs> What do you usually leave in there? That was the one. Listen, here's what happened. I had decided. Yeah, I, was... I had decided what to stand up that? way before I decided to start talking. 
because I needed to stand up. <laughs> this chair. But now is, you have to pee. I do have to pee, but it fuck this. So I, I was already in that motion, and then those words were and like that was totally a sit down joke. It wasn't a stand up. <laughs> Check it out. Burn. Oh, it, was, it was a so. So who still needs needs to pee? Because we need you to pee now if you really need to go. Because you got to stay. You got to be here for the big finale. Mm. So anybody else have to pee? I'm gonna hold it. <laughs> what? Will we really stop at the to pee? I no, thought you no, said no. you had to pee. I would just. Okay. Isn't that the like, She was just yes and he dug. He was being yeah. supportive. Yeah, he was being Listen, super I'm, supportive I'm from of Ohio, your pee. I've thing. only read a book about improv. Did I do it wrong? <laughs> I thought you were just supposed to agree blindly to whatever was said. And, and don't forget to appeal to the lowest common denominator. That's the key. And page two is hold your head as much as possible. Yeah. Was I just holding my you head? You were holding your head a lot, yeah. Always hold your that's head. My, that's my it's best so angle. funny, yeah. I feel like it's weird like, if I do it. Yeah, no, it's funny. It's funny. Like, like if the kid from Home Alone grew yeah. up and was oh, and I feel like I'm in a music video if I hold my head, right? Kind of 80s. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> that was really good, Ricky. Thank you. I picture you myself look doing this. tonight. Thank you. I like feel like I'm doing a split on a car. <laughs> Is that what it looks like when I do it? <laughs> I can't see it because I'm on the inside of this. I'm going to start. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start with Ricky on this next Urban Dictionary because okay. I think she'll just answer it and then we, we can call it a night. Um, <laughs> what is the That's definition? That's your biography, Jeff. I'm, I'm inside of this. <laughs> what, is, what, is a, what is a wiener cousin? <laughs> is that the foreskin? <laughs> is you that know, right? I knew you'd be quick, but I thought you might also be accurate. <laughs> oh. And that is not is the it, wiener cousin. Is it is a not vagina the that's really no, like it's just, <laughs> <laughs> It's like got a lot like hanging out going on. <laughs> is it the balls? Oh. <laughs> Cousins, one cousins. ball, one yeah, ball. Maybe one ball. If I can't tell how many are in there, usually. <laughs> usually there there's was, two. Yeah. You, it's I a would special say, circumstance. Well, they usually, right. they usually don't roll them around like Captain Queequog. What's his name, Greg? <laughs> Actually, honestly, if it's not two, they'll probably tell you before you ever touch them. <laughs> don't be alarmed. I got a bunch down there. <laughs> Does anybody? So is Wiener cousin does one Does anybody ball? have? <laughs> Ricky, sit this one out. Does okay. anybody? <laughs> does anybody? Does any of the gentlemen on the panel have an idea what a what a Wiener cousin is? Like an Italian sausage. <laughs> okay, so, okay, so you're out. Anything, Greg or Jacob or Matt? It's if you're related to someone who uh, sends sexual pictures over a phone. <laughs> That's my I'm glad favorite. I used all the lingo That's to explain my... that. That's my favorite answer, but not, not accurate. Greg, a, Jacob. A wiener cousin? Uh, uh -huh. you, you're part of the Habsburg Empire. <laughs> You're a hemophiliac, and you ruled Vienna at one point in the 18th century. You're a Wiener cousin. At your wedding, glassware was dashed to the ground. In volcano bags. Jacob, how high are you right now? Very high. Very high. Very high. I, five days ago, I didn't even smoke weed. I know, right? Now I'm doing I've this. totally turned you into a Weezer. junkie. I feel like you're, he's the Jonah Ray because he has said he's he's the highest. Am I the highest? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the highest. Am I the highest? Yeah, generally, the highest is the most talkative, not the most that, quiet. Don't I win? Oh. Generally, something about the highest. Is yeah, right. And there's nothing to win, nothing to lose. I thought your name was um, <laughs> But do you have any idea about Wiener Cousin? Because we really got to move on to the next thing. It's that one cousin most men. We're moving on, you guys. 
It's what do you got? It's that one cousin that you know most guys have anal sex with at some point in childhood. <laughs> Is it when you and your That's friend... That's the closest. That's the closest. Is it when you and your friend bang the same lady? Not at the same time, but at different times? And then your... Then your wiener are... cousins. Really? That's correct. Where did you hear that? that? I don't remember. I don't remember. Wait, 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 wait. If two guys have sex uh, with the same woman, they're wiener cousins. <laughs> wow. We're fucking wiener cousins on this volcano bag. <laughs> Oh, just, right, I never so... got the answer, but I think you guys are the most famous people I've ever smoked pot with. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, Unless anybody I, remembers I Ruben actually, Patterson. Actually, Greg, do you remember, I, I worked with Greg years ago in San Francisco. I made you sign your action figure. I'm a Star Wars nerd, and I made you sign you and Scott Capurro, who did the two-headed yeah, yeah, announcer fair. from Fod and Bead from episode one. I'm a huge Star Wars nerd, so Greg's signed my, him and, and the other, both hands. Oh, I have both Star hands. On a, yeah, you didn't know that? Greg yeah. Fulton, Star Thank Wars. you for remembering. So that actually should have been my answer, too. Just I was also in uh, uh, D.W. Griffith's Intolerance. <laughs> <laughs> 1916. <laughs> David, David was a oh, lamb right. chop. A lot of people would say he was racist and a taskmaster, but I found him... I found him engaging. Okay, so it's very clear to me that everyone is pretty high up here. Oh, he knows that and, uh, as high as so me. that what that means when you're this high is that it is time for us to make you watch a magic trick. I'd adore you. Okay, perfect. Ricky, do you mind helping me with this next part? I'll help you. All right, I'm going to go through the cards like this. Uh -huh. I want you to tell me when to stop anytime you want. Stop. Right there. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, memorize that card. Yeah. I'll show it to the camera over there. Got it? The I'm not a camera. I <laughs> resent <laughs> that. I resent that, dog. I know I'm a bit stiff sometimes. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's against Largo rules, you guys. Um, Greg, I gave you a piece of paper with a phone number on it. Yes, sir. Can you read me the phone number minus the uh, last two digits, just so not everyone hears? Yes, what Gabe. The, uh, <clears throat> 650. 650. Ricky, make sure this is what I'm punching in. Yeah. 465. 465. Mm -hmm. 2 8. <laughs> Okay, nine, that's fine. Let me, yeah, it's risky three, doing three, something this complicated in front to stairs. All right, I'll place the call button. Hopefully my I was not to disclose the last two numbers ere the evil spirits will rise. <laughs> Dude, why don't you have the aisle? Oh, he's making a call. Eight. Keep it, be cool. It's <laughs> having rock in the six, bro. Sorry, Mr. Call. Feel free to leave a message. Oh, if you're calling about the card, it should be the four of clubs. Nope. No? <laughs> Maybe that was the wrong okay. number. <laughs> that could have been a whole other magic trick you called. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. No, it's, I'm it's fine. Maybe it's out Vegas. It's fine. I'm, I'm going to do one more trick if you guys don't mind. Do you guys mind? Okay. okay. Um, Might as well do one more. <laughs> Matt Walsh, would you mind out. helping oh, me with this trick? Wait, what did you not say? Matt Walsh. Is it not? What did you say? I don't know. It's what Matt. Did you just say Matt. I, you say the Matt part. I, I know he that, but no, do another trick. Nobody what cares. What did you say? What nobody did you say? He called you Matt Walsh. He called me Matt what? Matt Walsh? Walsh. I know. I know. Do you it's not know who I am? No, I know. I, nobody cares. <laughs> So, uh, Jeff, oh do you have God. any uh, <laughs> do you have any uh, plugs? Anything coming up that? Um, Sorry, man. You want to? Uh, that was a rubber bottle. Anything at all? 
Wait, are you a real medic, dude? Because you told me you were a real medic backstage. Yeah, are you just yeah a, he's real. Are you like an improv guy? No, he's, he's made real. of sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's going to be going uh, to the podium here. So she. Greg, I'm trying to do your plugs, man. Oh, uh, bro, sorry. Two Proop Casts, the smartest man in the world, and the Greg Proops Film Club. And they're available on iTunes at gregproops.com. And I'm sure gregproops.com has all of his tour dates and whatnot. And, um, it certainly does, Doug. Thank you for saying that. OK. <laughs> You're welcome, Greg. Matt Besser, he's got a podcast called Improv for Humans on the Earwolf. Thank you. Comedy network of podcasts. And he has a book that's called the UCB Comedy Improvisation Manual. Jeff. And thanks for him for having the, the UCB theater, because that's where we do Douglas movies every week. Uh, Ricky Lindholm, upcoming show, uh, a series, Garfunkel and Oates, on the IFC Network. Yep. Yay. <laughs> Jeff Tate's going to be at Woodlands Tavern in Columbus, Ohio on March 31st, and at May Day in Cincinnati, Ohio on April 1st. So that's... Yep. <laughs> April 1st, that's just a joke. That show's not really going to happen. <laughs> we'll see. I don't, I don't think it will. <laughs> and Jacob Siroff performing at the American Comedy Company. Ooh, I like that place. In San Diego, this Thursday through Sunday. Yeah. And where... <laughs> What's your Twitter handle, Jacob, so people can go check out all your racist humor? <laughs> they didn't get a taste of that tonight. So I why know. Would you, it was completely non-racist appearance. I yeah. wanted to bring that up, because some people like that kind of thing. <laughs> 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 There's not enough racist humor on the show. I was hoping you'd bring some tonight. Just like a white guy. He must have said that. something racist, didn't he? He said at least one racist thing. I don't think no? so. No? No? Okay. Nice. Good job. Thanks. Greg hit the American Indian pretty hard at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> I, felt like it was an, I felt like it was an homage to all bad improv that's gone before me. <laughs> and that's the refuge that I'm taking. So he's just going to do that the whole time? Not, you know. Gabriel, um, oh, you think he's doing something right now? I don't no. He's blinking. Do you think I could keep his boots? <laughs> the real card we chose is underneath him. Next time I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure to do all the plugs before the magic trick. I mean if we do a magic trick next time. Are we time. allowed to say what the card is yet? Do you wanna know our card or no? <laughs> Dead. He was a ghost, and he couldn't get to heaven until he found what, out what the card was. That is what Stoner's, Stoner's then in the Magic Show. Then he'd be Tuesdays show. on NBC. <laughs> for a Waiting little bit. for a deal. Tuesdays. <laughs> he's stuck in limbo until he finds the right card. He's going to lay on a fetid carpet in a club on La Cienega. <laughs> He wishes he could get to the fat burger around the corner. There's a fat burger around the corner? Yeah. yeah. I think it's a lot of Does what a lot of people oh, have been thinking about. I thought I could get in right there. I thought that was the sweet spot right there to get in and say, Doug loves movies and flappers in Burbank, California. On Thursday, February 27th, that's going to be a fun show. Helium Comedy Club in Portland, Oregon is where I'm taping my uh, new uh, next album on 420. Easter Sunday, come out and uh, <laughs> listen to me blaspheme. And uh, all of my dates are at DougLovesMovies.com. Thank you to all of my guests. Holy crap. <laughs> An amazing lineup. Let's just... Uh, Let's go down the line. Matt Besser, how high are you? Eight. <laughs> <laughs> Out of how many? Oh, A-T-E, not the number. <laughs> what, yes, what, what word best describes 
signs how hot you are. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, what do you got, Greg? Butterscotch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how high are you? <laughs> Probably the same answer. What was it? <laughs> are, are we on to me or Ricky, are we on how Ricky? high are you? I think I'm a 9.4. Or like a jellyfish. That's my word. <laughs> that's like a better I'm, scale. That's, yeah. a, that's easier I'm to understand. Jellyfish. I'm jellyfish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The Russian judges had you at an 8.2. <laughs> You're still a sea cucumber in their eyes. <laughs> Jacob. Jacob, Sweet. help me, Jacob. Mm -hmm. You doing good? You pretty high? Yeah, I'm pretty high. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's a straight shooter, that Jacob Siroff. <laughs> and Jeff, how you doing, buddy? Oh, great. I am, here's how high I am. When I go home, I'm high enough that I, I'll think I probably haven't seen this episode of Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> but I've seen it, but there's some jokes that'll surprise me still. Thank you guys for coming. We'll do it again next month. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to my channel, youtube.com slash Doug Benson.